This is one of those photos where I can't look away. The combination of the burning tires, the billowing clouds of smoke, and the overall apocalyptic atmosphere really draws me in. And who is that man with his defiant stance, masked head to toe in black? Is he responsible for all this? This was taken on January 25th, 2014, by this guy. Hi, my name is Sasha Maximenko. I am a professional photographer based in Kyiv, Ukraine. He was one of thousands of people at the center of anti-government protests that broke out in Kiev. They were protesting a decision made by Ukraine's president, Viktor Yanukovych, to reject a landmark treaty with the European Union in favor of stronger ties with Russia. We were fighting against system of powers that never listened to their people, ignored his opinion, destroyed and dissent, uh, suppressed uh, the will to freedom, uh, leaving no chance for alternative development. Protesters had been fighting against their president's ongoing refusal to integrate with Europe for months in a rally known as Euro Maiden. However, the scope of the protests expanded into a more general protest against Yanukovych's government and call for his resignation. What started as a peaceful protest turned into armed clashes between citizens and the police in scenes that shocked residents of Kiev and people around the world. Activists start to protect themselves and resist army takings of President Yanukovych. With the support of Federal Security Service of Russia, he ordered to short people on Euromaidan. Soon, parts of Kiev erupted into battle zones after the first reported protester deaths. Demonstrators hurled firebombs, rocks and Molotov cocktails as police fired back with tear gas, stun grenades and rubber bullets. Thousands of tires were set on fire as barricades to resist further movement by the police, like here, on this street where this photo was taken. There were dozens who died from both sides, and Ukraine was left reeling from the most lethal day of violence since its independence from the Soviet Union. I was a witness of these events. I was involved in it every day. This is why I can say for sure Ukrainians made a real act of braid against corrupted authorities. Overnight, the regime of Yanukovych had come to an end. After fleeing the country to Russia, the parliament voted to strip him of power and called for early elections. To this day, the people of Ukraine are both worried and hopeful about their country's future, but few regret the revolution. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our first episode on Seeker Stories. If you like this video, be sure to check out new episodes here every week, and don't forget to subscribe.